We're back on the 2009 No Fluff Just Stuff tour, and today I'm here with Mark Richards, one of our speakers on tour, as well as the author of the Java Message Service second edition that just came out recently. So welcome, Mark. Why don't you uh, share with us your impressions of the, the, the message space currently and what's going on particularly with JMS? Sure. So, so the JMS API uh, has been around for a little over 10 years now. And although the API hasn't changed significantly, we had a significant increase in 2002 with the JMS 1.1. Um, but it's remained fairly stable, uh, no planned upgrades for that. Um, but what has really changed that I've noticed is the way we actually use messaging. Um, especially in light of decoupled systems instead of tightly coupled systems, I think we're starting to realize the advantages of how do we break apart certain bottlenecks, how do we increase performance, increase scalability of our applications, and do it actually fairly easily. And that's where messaging really into the whole piece of that. Mm -hmm. So do you consider messaging an art or a science? Actually, I consider messaging both. There's a science part of messaging, but then there's an art part of messaging. And I actually allude to both of these in my JMS ses sessions here at NFJS. The science comes in in terms of the syntax. Um, the JMS API, uh, the tuning parameters of any of the providers that you use, that's where the science comes in. But then there's a whole other aspect to messaging which is the art of messaging, which I like to kind of put it. It's messaging design. Once you understand the syntax and how to use messaging, um, or I should say how to code messaging, um, how do you effectively use messaging? In other words, how many listeners should you have? How many concurrent listeners? Should you use one queue, two queues, three queues? What's the advantage of using selectors over multiple queues? Uh, what are some of the pitfalls, and what should I do in terms of priority? Uh, message priority. I mean, the, this is where, in my opinion, the art of messaging comes in. Um, it's fairly easy to get a simple messaging system up and running. Um, it's not so easy, however, to make it perform quickly, scalable, um, and effective. So what do you attribute kind of the rise with the use of JMS now? What, what has really come forth that has uh, caused companies to really focus in on this? Well, certainly uh, service-oriented architecture um, in the past five years has definitely given rise to the increase of messaging. Uh, interoperability uh, between platforms, um, which we now have a lot more of, has also given rise to messaging. Now, we have other options to do that, for instance, web services. Um, in my opinion, behind the firewall, um, not as reliable and much more complex. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not as good tuning. Um, so this is where I think the increase in messaging has, has definitely, th those components have definitely given an increase in the rise of messaging. Um, I also think just an awareness of overall messaging design in terms of getting away from the tightly coupled system and more towards loosely coupled components that can be self-tuned, self-regulated, and, 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 and also concurrent programming as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. So just jumping on to another topic here briefly, another one of your popular talks is as far as uh, anti-patterns are concerned. Oh, Would yes. you uh, care to elaborate a little bit on that? <laughs> what a fun talk. Um, I, uh, in the 97 Things Every so Software Architect Should Know, a, a very popular book that just came out recently, um, I spoke about patterns as a form of communication. Um, we use patterns, which of course are repeatable processes that produce, produce positive results. Equally important is actually uh, knowing about anti-patterns, mm -hmm. um, which are repeatable processes that produce negative results. There's <laughs> thousands and thousands of anti-patterns. As a matter of fact, a lot of the buzzwords we use in our industry, death march, mushroom management, um, uh, spaghetti code, mm -hmm. uh, analysis paralysis, all of those are well-cataloged anti-patterns. So um, I think it's equally important to understand what we do incorrect and also how to avoid those anti-patterns. Yes, a lot of fun in that, uh, in that session. Very good. Well, hey, thanks for taking the time today. Be sure and catch uh, Mark Richards on the No Fluff, Just Stuff tour. All kinds of good stuff. Take care.